Hey everybody, I'm Jackie, the Marketing Account Manager at Dergo Design and Development, and I'm back to continue our series on the Edge Content Management System. Today, we'll walk through how to update your blog. Before you continue with this video, make sure you've watched our tutorials on how to create and update regular content pages, as they're alike in a lot of ways. That being said, regular content pages and blog posts are different in that you can't edit blog posts from the front end of your site. But don't worry, we've created the blog feature with the user experience in mind, especially for those of you who primarily use the front end of Edge. To update an existing blog post, hover over the blog shortcut in your quick access bar. The blog shortcut will usually say blog, but this particular client is calling their blog the newsroom. If you call your blog by another name, we can customize the shortcut for you too. Select Manage Blogs from the dropdown. Then, just like when updating an existing content page, select the desired blog post from the list, make your updates, and hit Save. Creating a new blog post has just a few more steps. First, ask yourself, who is going to be the author of my post, and what category will my post belong to? You can view blog post authors by hovering over blog, or newsroom for this example, and selecting authors. Sometimes, we'll work with you to add in some authors for you. If you see the author you'll be using in the list already, then this step is done. If you don't see the desired author, click the New Author button in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. Give your author a name and hit Create. If you want to add an image for your user, locate the image in your media library, copy the location URL, and paste it into the image location box before you click Create. For help on the media library, check out our media tutorial. Next, do the same thing in the category section of your blog. Check to see if the desired category is in the list, and if not, create one using the New Category button. Once you've published a few blog posts and established regular categories and authors, you should be able to skip the previous steps and jump right into your post. Now for your blog post, select Manage Blogs, then the blue New Blog button. Just like with the regular content page, give your blog a title, set your permalink, and add your post content. You can see underneath the main content area is a box called Featured Text. This is a brief teaser of your blog post that displays on the main blog page. As a best practice tip for creating featured text, you should either use the first one to two lines of your blog post as content, or create brand new copy. Whichever method you choose, I'd recommend sticking to it throughout all of your posts. Remember, the key to featured text is to write something that assures a user they found the information they want, and to encourage them to read more. To the right of the content entry areas, you can see write rail settings much like a regular content page. Check the Is Public box to allow users on your site to view your post. Select the Is Featured box if you want it to appear first on the main blog page. If you want to change the display date of your post, select it from the calendar. Note that choosing a date in the future won't keep your post from publishing until that date. Instead, it will go live when you save, but the publish date will be whatever you selected. Next, choose your author from the dropdown. This section is displaying the authors you created before you started the post. Then, choose a category. Just like with authors, the category section reflects those that you created before your blog post. Your blog may also have tags. If you think of your blog category like the trunk of a tree, then tags are like the branches of that tree that provide more specificity into the topic of your post. Here's another best practice tip. Tags should reflect the keywords related to the topic of your blog post, and you should be able to apply them to multiple posts. If you're not sure what keywords are appropriate for your line of business or blog post, you can always contact a Deergo team member for advice. We've talked about the SEO and meta box, so what's left is the featured image. Select the Set Featured Image button and the media library will pop up. Oftentimes, we'll provide recommended image dimensions, which you can see if you hover over the question mark. Choose your image, Click Save, and congratulations, you've just published your first blog post. You're probably wondering where the draft option is. Blog posts aren't able to be saved as drafts, but if you don't want people to see your post yet, 
uncheck the Is Public box until you're ready. Like with content pages, updating and publishing blog posts gets easier the more you practice, and the Dear Go team is always just a phone call or an email away if you need help. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out our other videos on using Dear Go Edge.